Okay, here it is, the cello with the hole in the side. Don't want to know how that happened. I've been told it's not worth getting it fixed, meaning what you pay a professional to do what they do uh, will cost more than the cello is worth, but uh, that doesn't mean I can't try, right? If the cello is worthless like it is, why not give it a shot? So, here we go. I'm going to start taking it apart and see if we can fix that. Get it plated again. You can see the hole here. Um, also, I don't know if you can tell, but we've already started to come apart right here. And there's another crack back here. And on this side, it looks like there was an old repair that was done. And we're also coming apart from the bottom face of the cello down here. So that's got to be re-glued and clamped. But I think I'm going to start by starting to take the the face off. So I'm just going to see if we can work the, the glue up. It's a scary sound. Does not want to come apart here. There we go. Dude, isn't that kind of fun? <laughs> nah, it's too cool. All right, the camera shut off. You hate when it shuts off when you're getting the good parts. Yeah, and the part that I was having so much trouble with in the back. It was a separate little piece. Comes out, that'll be glued back in separate. Makes sense.
It sounded horrifying, but it wasn't. <laughs> I'm going to fill these little cracks with wood glue. These cracks with wood glue. Uh, I'm going to glue in the piece that was back there. And I have a very thin piece of veneer that I'm going to clamp and glue to the inside to reinforce this area. Kind of a kind of a tire patch for the side of the, the cello. So that's the what we're what I'm trying to do. So I'm using wood glue, not the hide glue in this area because I really don't want this to open up again. The hide glue you want to use in areas where uh, you'd rather the, the seam open up than the, than the instrument break. You use it in areas that you glued together, like the top to the, the sides. I keep forgetting what the sides are called, but I'm clearly not in this trade, so <laughs> I maybe I'll learn the, the names of them. But anyway, let me get this all glued up and see if I can get it all clamped together. All right, so I, uh, Kind of weighted this down a little bit. While the glue dried. And it's pretty much dry. Work on the outside a little bit. Right, I threw some clamps in there. That should kind of hold things together. I took care of that little spot in the back. It was all busted. And the other side that had the, the previous repair from before that was kind of shady. Yeah, whatever. I put another patch back there and glued it in, a bunch of clamps. This should kind of hold that little piece together and we should be good here. So I'm gonna now let this dry. Let's see what we come up with. Okay, that's been drying for about 10 hours now. Let's see, see what it looks like underneath all these clamps. one I wouldn't be surprised if the clamps glued themselves. No, that's good. That's a freaking heavy one. pretty good. Looks like a dog's breakfast from this camera angle, I'll tell you that. Oh, 
However, I think we're going to be able to clean that up. Blue, sand, who knows? Maybe I'll even re-finish the whole cello. <laughs> Got the, the bang that was in the back right up there. That's uh, pretty solid now. And the break that was on the other side. This was the original God, it looks so much worse on camera. But anyway, I'm gonna clean those up. <laughs> this looks so bad. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna start by removing the old glue. Or not the old glue, the new glue. It seems like the deepest spot right here. I'm going to sand that back and forth with a bunch of different grits of sandpaper. Everyone's going to freak out. I'm going to freak out. But hey, I was going to throw this in the garbage. Okay. This is 320. 320? 320? As you can see, this is the area that's a little bit higher than the rest. You can see it, but you can't feel it anymore. Not in any direction. A little bit right here. I'm going to sand that a little more. We're getting there.
Okay. Now the outside's as good as I'm gonna get this at this stage. Those are all the pieces together. And what I wanna do next is gonna be on the inside, I'm gonna sand this piece of patch down. It's, it's way less than an eighth of an inch thick, uh, but I still wanna sand it down. Now that the glue has had time to dry, I wanna sand it down so it doesn't possibly take the tone out of the, the side or the whatever you call the side of a cello, you know. So it's, uh, I, wanna, I wanna get that down to almost paper thin now that the glue is all set. So we'll do that next. wood is all thinned out very thin it's just a thin veneer now I've done the other side also in that old patch so these are probably I'm gonna say they're pretty paper thin at this point but the everything's been glued together anyway so I'll bet if I sanded them 100% off that everything would still hold together, but what the heck. And a nice paper thin patch on the inside. Now, we can, uh, I think, start putting this thing back together. All right, officially at the point where I'm gonna put some hide glue on and just put it back together. I suppose starting at the area that I finished with, you know, put it back together in the opposite direction. Kind of makes sense. Man, if anybody's ever heated up hide glue before, boy does it smell. Insanely tight. Is that enough to hold it on? Thank you. 